published 1157 Eastern Standard Time, the 17th of February 2018, updated 1540 Eastern Standard Time, the 17th of February 2018. Floyd Iite stole the show with a wonderfully taken long-range effort as Fulham brought Aston Villa's run of seven consecutive league wins to a juddering halt. The Togo International found the net from inside the centre circle at Craven Cottage after making the most of Sam Johnstone's poor clearance from a free kick on the right-hand touchline. The strike was the cherry on top a devastating second-half display, where Slavisa Dokarnovic's side went ahead through the right boot of 17-year-old Ryan Sersengyon. Floyd Iite stole the show with a wonderfully taken long-range effort in the second half. The Togo International found the back of the net from inside the center circle at the cottage. Iite made the most of Sam Johnstone's poor clearance from a free kick on right-hand side. It keeps Fulham's own unbeaten run in 2018 ticking along, and reignited their own hopes of sneaking into the championship automatic promotion spots. For Villa, the defeat was a tough one to take for a side chasing a little bit off club history, but an eighth successive win to match the 1975 predecessors never looked likely in the West London sunshine. Signs of a difficult day were present from the team announcements, with Steve Bruce forced to leave out in form pair Jack Graylish and Albert Adama, both of whom failed to overcome knocks from the emotionally charged derby victory against Birmingham. This was not the game to be without your star players, with Fulham captain Tom Kearney describing it as the biggest game of the season so far. Not many would disagree, with Fulham in fifth and Villas at second before kickoff. The pace at which the game started suggested both teams knew it, too. Fulham's Ryan Sessegnon broke the deadlock just after halftime with a brilliant finish he scored his seventh goal of 2018. Only Sergio Aguero has more in top four English divisions an early driving run from Mitrovic had the Villa defence backpedalling and his hard work provided space for Matty Target to lash the first shot on goal which curled wide of Sam Johnstone's goal. Moments later it was the striker himself who had a sight of goal. Iite's cross was met by the Serbian, only to see his header back across goal bounce the wrong side of the post. Villa, as you would expect from a team chasing their eighth consecutive league victory, responded. Scott Hogan, Bjarne Assen's surge was checked but the layoff ran kindly for the number nine who fired narrowly over. Bjarneson was allowed to roam through the Fulham unchallenged once more in the 15th minute this time taking aim himself but couldn't find the bottom corner of Marcus Bettinelli's goal. Villa began to assert themselves physically, a bit too much so for the home side's liking. Ryan Sessegnon struggled to make an impact down the right, with a highly sought-after teenager shackled by the imposing Axel Twan ZB. Villa boss Steve Bruce sees his side's run of seven consecutive league wins come to a halt. Goalkeeper Sam Johnston looks disappointed after conceding a long-range effort from Iite Manchester United loanee Axel Twan ZB lost on his debut for Aston. Vera at Craven Cottage, the Manchester United loney was getting the better of Sessegnon at the other end too, muscling him off the ball to tee up Conor Aurahan who curled over the bar from the edge of the area. The sign of a good player though is one who is able to make his presence felt, even on an off day. The 17-year-old opened the scoring after the break after finally breaking free of his tormentor's attention. Floyd Iite found a gap in the Villa back line to thread through a ball for full-back Ryan Fredericks. High cut back fell invitingly for the unmarked Sessegnons, who steered a right-footed shot into the far corner. Hogan saw a weak header easily kept out by Bettinelli, but it was the host who appeared more intent on grabbing the game's second goal and putting it to bed. Sessegnons struggled to threaten down the right-hand side for Fulham as he faced Juan ZB Villa captain John Terry looks dejected after their impressive winning streak comes to an end he should have when three of them broke clear. Iite dawdled in possession, unable to choose between slipping and Tom Kearney Mitrovic. In the end, he did neither. He made no such hesitation the next time the ball was at his feet. Johnstone's sloppy free kick from the flank fell straight at the forward's feet just inside the villa half, with a goal gaping. He killed the ball dead looked up and arrowed it into the unguarded net. Bruce's men looked shell-shocked and went close to conceding again. Kearney burst down the left to fire a low cross along the face of goal but neither Iite nor Mitrovic could get there. The Serbian was then granted another chance, his low effort deflecting into the hands of a grateful Johnston. He was afforded a standing ovation by the cottage when Abubika Kamara replaced him in the 79th minute. Villa regained some of their composure, Hogan finding space in behind but once more failing to find the target as any hopes of maintaining their own unbeaten run began to fade.
Fulham's confidence only grows. Jedinak speaks to referee Tony Harrington after the Villa midfielder was shown a yellow card.